And as we look ahead, let's start with some notable games this weekend. Another solid slate as we get ready for week six. A top five matchup in the Big Ten for the first time since the 2015 Conference Championship game. The Hawkeyes will host the Nittany Lions looking to keep their 11-game win streak alive. Alabama, meanwhile, traveling to College Station to take on the Aggies. The Crimson Tide have won 100 consecutive games against unranked opponents, and Saban is seeking his 25th straight win against his former assistants. Alabama still perfect on this season. Last but not least, the Red River Showdown is this week, and Oklahoma and Texas are ranked. It's the 42nd time these two teams will meet as ranked opponents, the second most such meetings by any two teams, by the way, in the AP poll era. Here's quarterback Casey Thompson on what's at stake. Uh, what's at stake is obviously uh, bragging rights and the right to say you won the you know, Red River shootout. Um, but at the end of the day, it's another conference game, and uh, you're going to have a win or a loss under your belt uh, going into the next week of conference. The atmosphere is going to be great. You know, it's going to be something you ain't never experienced before, but you got to realize in these types of games, you got to stay focused, you got to stay locked in because the smartest teams win these types of games. Tom Lukenville joining us now as well. And Luke, I'll ask you like this, what, what's the state of these two teams as they get set to face each other? Well, looks like we got some technical issues there. Again, Des, uh, looking ahead to the Red River showdown. I'm glad we don't say Red River rivalry that much anymore. It was too hard to say. Uh, but Des, I'll ask you this then. What does Oklahoma need to clean up <laughs> to be successful? Hey, Wendy, I'm on board with you. I'm glad we don't say the Red River rivalry anymore to quite the tongue twister, isn't it? <laughs> um, I think that the Oklahoma Sooners it, it's too hard. clean up that area called the trenches. You know, offensively, they haven't been able to run the ball at a normal clip. That, the, the regular clip we're accustomed to seeing the Sooners run the ball. At the present time, they're averaging 30 yards less um, on the ground than they normally did a year ago. So now they have to be able to run the ball. And when you, when you can run the ball and control the trenches, then it, it really helps your play calling. I think it makes things much easier for Lincoln Riley. So they have some horses. They got the line up front. I just don't think they've had time to jail thus far. But now, like you said, we're going into week six. This is going to be a huge matchup against the Texas Longhorns. They're going to have to be able to establish dominance at the line of scrimmage, run the ball, and then that'll help them. But that I think that's the big, been the biggest issue. Spencer Rattler, as much heat as he's been getting, he's not playing horribly. He just hasn't been able to play up to the standard that we're used to seeing from an Oklahoma Sooner quarterback, especially when you keep in mind that Spencer stat, sat, sat, Spencer came into the, the season as the favorite for the Heisman. Yeah, I mean, look, it's almost you're a victim of your own success, right? That bar w was pretty high. So to fall short of it isn't that difficult. I'm going to ask you about the best player on the field in just a minute, Des, because it won't be Spencer Rattler with no disrespect. But before I do, because we talk so much coming into this season about Texas, about Sark, about the changes, are they, are they on to something in Austin, Des? I tell you what, Wendy, I really think they are. I mean, since they um, they got manhandled by Arkansas earlier in the season, obviously Sark made a, a switch at the quarterback position, started Casey Thompson, and the offense has just been really clicking since Thompson has taken over at the quarterback position. But the key to this offense is B. John Robinson. I mean, he's the – when they take the field there Saturday afternoon – B. John Robinson will be the best player on the football field. I mean, there's no doubt about that. He's a running back that can go the distance anytime he touches the ball. Um, he's very elusive, great out in space. And then Sark is such a creative play caller. Sark will also line him up out there and wide to put him in the slot, and they'll throw the ball to him too. Tough, great vision, excellent lateral movement, and fantastic speed. When they play the Oklahoma Sooners, he will be the best player on the field. Make sure you guys keep an eye on B. John Robinson. Well, we should expect a close one in the Red River Showdown, by the way, since their last seven regular season meetings uh, have been one possession game. So, again, Des, it should be a good one. It should be a tight one. 
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.